Hey yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Tenyo Scene 1 and uh well I I'm back. It's just okay, I'm I'm sorry, I kinda just wanted to make it dramatic. Uh but I guess I kinda failed there. I'm not gonna record this game. But um uh, I'm back and it's it's been a while. It's been a while. Um sorry about that guys, I've been busy with a lot of things, a lot of things. I'm trying to get back into development. Well not development, just video just recording and tutorials and whatnot. Um I do uh, I do a couple live streams from time to time, so if you guys might want to crash into that, or maybe, you know, on Twitch or on YouTube, both, but, um, yeah, for, for, that, that's about it, so anyways, this tutorial is going to be a relatively short one, because we're just going to look at one simple thing, and that's going to be how to sort of spread out the bullets, so, like, the inaccuracy of the weapon, um, so yeah, I'm not sure how many memes I can fit into this or if I will actually be fitting any memes at all. But let's not worry about that and let's get right on and do it, shall we? Alright, so... um. Getting back into Unity, um, we this is where we left off. I did upgrade to 2017.1 for this project. I've been using the other 2017 versions. I've not touched 2018 yet. I'm quite excited to do so, but uh, I've been busy with things. But yeah. Anyway, so we had our weapon set up, you know, with all the basic stuff. I do believe we need to clean it up because all the variables are just a mess. I, I realize that now. I don't know why it took me so long to realize, but. So what we need to do is we need to go into our weapon script here, and uh, we're basically going to want to um, add a new variable at the very bottom, which we're going to say, and that's going to be what a public um, float uh, spread factor, let's call it, and we're going to default it to 0 0.1 maybe. Uh, yeah. Also, a couple things. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to sort of separate these things just a little bit so we can have things like uh, let's see maybe we can so we can add like headers so headers kind of allow us to sort of make the script look cleaner so we can add header uh, properties or something like that and we can have something like uh, I don't know header settings or uh, setup you know, and uh, header sound effects. I'm sorry, it was it was just a little bit annoying. I, I just I just sort of wanted to do this, you know, just uh, make things a little bit kind of easier to manage somehow. And we can add a header UI, even though there's really no not more than one piece of UI there. But you know, just just to be on the safe side, these are all private, so that's fine. This could be uh, header ADS, same down sites, right? And this could be part of the properties, right? Somewhere here, so we can just add a spread factor there, right? I just just move things a little bit around. Uh, so this is what the header is actually going to do to your script. Uh, which you'll see in a second in the editor. Um, there we go. Uh, it looks kind of a lot more readable compared to before. I just did this quickly. I didn't thought this through before, but there we go. That's that's kind of much more better in my opinion. What do you guys think? Um, anyways, so we're gonna get go back into our script, and we are now. We just added this one variable called spec factor. This is gonna determine how much uh, how much bullet spread there's gonna be, um, and basically. At, during each shot, we're going to sort of determine this. I also, excuse the sounds in the background. There might be, you know, door openings and closings ish. But yeah, anyways. So remember how we had a, we had a, we were shooting, we, we, we sort of calculated a ray cast, like a mathematical thing. Uh, a ray, essentially, laser beam, you could say, from the shoot point position and, and going in the forward direction from that one particular position. Um, now the the shoot point was essentially uh what like our camera I believe, uh which is not a sign here it is a sign here camp shoot point we just we just, we just reused this one shoot point, uh and what we're gonna do is essentially we're actually gonna add some uh some some sort of inaccuracies to that shoot point so we're actually gonna calculate that shoot point beforehand so we're gonna say vector three shoot point or shoot direction let's call it 
and and this is going to be the same exact thing as this so we're just going to copy and paste that to direction and what we're going to do is we're actually as i said to add some some random stuff to it so we're going to say shoot direction dot x equals what well, like random dot range actually plus equals so what we're going to do we're going to add in we're going to add in something to this right uh, so we're adding in a random value. The minimum of that would be the negative respect factor, and the max would be the positive respect factor. So this is this is our range now. So it, 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 you know we could have like a we we're basically adding negative one, a negative zero point one, or a positive zero point one. Basically, neg negative zero point one would be just subtracting, not actually addition. But that's exactly what we want. So so we're going to have like imagine like a, a point in the middle. Uh, we're, we're moving 0 0.1 meters to its right, and we're moving 0 0.1 uh, meters to its left. Or not, and, or. Uh, and, and that's going to be our range, uh, you know, and we're just going to move back and forth between that. So the computer's going to decide. It's going to give us a random value between that range. And this is on the x-axis, mind you. So we have like a 2D sort of, you can imagine a graph here, and that graph, uh, we're moving along the x-axis with that graph back and forth. And then we can just copy the same exact line, and we can just say shoot direction dot y. And well, that's that's going to determine the same exact thing, but on the y-axis. So now we're moving back and forth, up and down on the y-axis. Uh, and now we have our new shoot direction, which is random. Really simple, pretty simple. Now there are multiple ways to go about this. Some people, uh, even like I've seen some people in my Discord, uh, who actually, who, you, by, by the way, do join the Discord server. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's been dying lately, so please, guys, join the Discord. Let's make it alive. I'm free now, so I can I can be more active there, and you can interact with me, and we can we can learn stuff, we can do stuff, right? Anyways, so. Uh, some people like found a way to have sort of this uh, sort of rotating the shoot point itself, uh, you know, to to give it that random motion, um, you know, based on degrees, uh, which was quite quite intuitive in my opinion, and I'm I'll definitely take a look at that as well. Uh, and if you if you're well, if you're if you're curious, you can just join the Discord and see for yourself. Anyways, uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace this shoot point transform to forward by the shoot direction we just calculated. So we have a new direction now, uh, which is just randomized and whatnot. And that's it. That's basically it for our um, our tutorial. We're actually done at this point, so you're welcome to leave because a lot of people have been, um, you know, uh, I don't know, saying that they don't like the tutorials being too long, but they're going to be long. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Especially with me talking so fast. I don't know why I'm talking so fast. But there you go. So if I shoot, that's, that's a lot of damage. So you can see we're just we're just sort of this is going to be like this, this is going to give it this, give us a random square. So if I were to be if I were to shoot really fast, let's say, uh, you would probably notice that it's actually just a random square. Oh wait, no, not this one. This one. Okay, wait. Uh, bullets per mag five uh, five uh, thousand or something. Nope, that didn't work. So. It's, it's, it, my point is that it's basically a square. That's it, right? So we're shooting in more of a square pattern at this point. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's that's basically it. Uh, if you if you play the game, um, you'll notice that you can you can play around with the spread factor. You can reduce it, and that will reduce the inaccuracy. You know, much like so it's it's much more accurate at this point. It's not going to spread that much. Uh, obviously, it's going to be more sort of um, visible at, at much much longer distances and whatnot. So I can make it what like 0 0.5, and that's going to be terrible. That's like I don't know. That's that's just terrible. Uh, so at a later tutorial, we can uh, we can add some bullet pellets uh, for for cases when you when you have like a shotgun and you want more than just one bullet to shoot out of it. So you want maybe five to twelve, uh, you know, small little pellets. Shooting out of it, and and we can use the spread factor to assist, uh, you know, so, so those pellets don't land. They, they don't land on the same exact spot. They actually spread out uh, in more of a pattern, and then that can that can allow us to give it, you know, more of a convincing shotgun effect, right? So there there we have it. I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, there wasn't much of a tutorial. It was just a little bit of a uh, welcome back thing. I, I'm just I'm just welcoming myself back here. That's that's the point. But um, yeah, it was it was relatively nice to be back, I guess. Um, so yeah, let me know if this was actually helpful.
you know, like it's, it's a pretty short one. And what 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 I should do next, and how often should I stream? And this is just me talking about stuff. If if some some of the guys didn't caught that, uh, and uh, and yeah, um, you know, crush on my Discord. Um, mention me, message me if you have any problems. Message me on my Discord, preferably Discord, because uh, on my Facebook page, for some reason, it doesn't send me most of the notifications. I don't know why it hates me so much, but it does. Uh, and that's about it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Or in the next stream, maybe. Peace out.